It's gloomy, it's yucky. Perfect day for some homemade chicken soup. After you wash, wash the vegetables, you peel the carrots. I'm making chicken soup, so here you go. You just peel all the carrots. And if you have a rabbit like I do, you give all the scraps to the rabbit. Peeling the carrots. This is peeling. Put them first before anything else. Because onions are a dirty vegetable. Celery is a dirty vegetable. The carrots are kind of a dirty vegetable, but they're not as dirty as those vegetables. Always have hand sanitizer. Go over there. And we'll start chopping the carrots. Those are kind of like in coins. You can put them like sideways. Oh, I forgot to say fill a soup pot half with water. I'm just going to keep chopping these carrots. Put them in the soup. This is just one pan. One pan, boil for an hour, and no worries. Sometimes I have carrots like that. Yeah, that makes it fun. Go like this. Go like this. But like this. My favorite art to do is actually carrot art. It's kind of fun. That'll be another video in another time. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, my boyfriend is bacon bits. Oh, let me just go get the onion. Let me clear up the carrot. I'll be right back. Oh no. Next we are chopping the onion. All I need is half an onion. For the soup, I do with this other half of the onion. You just save for later. This is how I like to cut my onion. Get the root out. Peel. Ooh, it's gonna make me dry. And then just do a rough chop. Very rustic chicken soup. Very simple ingredients, but very good to chop everything so it'll be nice and easy. Put this in the soup. So we came back with the onion. I always do chicken last on the chopping block, which I probably do not need because it's boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Next we have celery. I like to wash them when I do eat them. Fine. I'm making it open. Some celery sticks. 
Sorry, had a phone call. Now I'm just chopping the celery and putting it in the soup. I am French, so people are like, you say soup, and I'm like, I'm French, I say soup like soup. You know? And this is chicken soup from scratch. There's no bouillon, no broth. When you've been to cooking school, you just know how to chop things. Okay, we're done with the chopping, then we put in the chicken. Alright folks, I put the chicken in the pot. I don't think you want to see people putting chicken in. Now the final thing to add in is some um, dittolini pasta. Let's see, can we get in the pot? A little bit of pasta. Personally, I love small pasta and soup. You can go for a pasta bridge and blah blah blah. You know, you know the deal. Next, I put in white pepper. I'm allergic to the black pepper, so that's why it's white pepper. Some pink Himalayan salt, like a good amount. The one thing with salting, once you put in, you cannot put out. Parsley. And if I could get that open, some Italian seasoning. And if I could get this open, that'd be great. Seasoning up in there. And now we just simmer on a high for quicker soup, which I have no patience. For about an hour, I will check in in an hour. If smell of fish was a, was a thing, this is amazing. Should be done pretty soon. Now there's the chicken that makes the broth. Now that's homemade broth. Chicken and celery and onion and pasta. My dogs are even going crazy for this. Oh yeah. Cooking away. Come delicious. I wait, cut these breasts. Well, these thighs at least, but. Mmm. Getting close to yum yum time. Mm hmm. Uh, the steam, it's ready. I'm gonna get a copyright fragment. Have a TV on the background, but it's ready. It's delicious. It's gonna be delicious. Mmm. Do you wanna let your soup sit for a little bit? As it's done. But look at that deliciousness. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum.